Welcome back to episode three of Scoreboard Unlocked. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic Friday, Grizzlies. I'm Connor Parrish. My name is Ethan Jiffin. We've got plenty of interesting stuff for you guys today. So sit back, uh, relax, and enjoy the show. How's it going, Seth? How are you doing today? I'm good. I hope you are having a really good day. How's the family doing? They're doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Wow. So insightful. I see that you guys are currently 9-3. and three. What happened in those three losses? Uh, it was the beginning of the season, and we were not uh, a complete team yet. So moving forward, we'll be winning. Yeah, and I see that you guys have 30. I see that you individually have 34 goals this season, uh, the most on your team. Wow. That's, that's really something. Um, how does it compare to how you were doing last year? Uh, last year I was not a, a, a big part of the team as I am this year, but we're doing a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. You're now a captain and a leader out there, and yeah, I think that's really amazing. Uh, what are you expecting for the future games? Um, we got, on, on this Thursday, we have Rockland at 6.30, so be there. Wow, yeah. And that was yesterday, so uh, oh. hey, hope you guys have a good rest of your day, scoreboard. This was Seth Mosfield. Thank you. My name is Tessa Ferguson. I'm a senior here at Granite Bay High School. I went there for a tournament called Gothia Cup or the Youth World Cup, and I was there with a team called PDP NorCal Premier. PDP is pretty much where all the best players around Northern California all gather together, train together to eventually become a team to go to this tournament, which is really cool. Being able to play against other countries during this tournament was really cool. The outcome of the trip was, it could have been better. We made it all the way to the championship, but we sadly lost. But overall, it was just a great experience to be able to go that far. This whole trip really gave me a good experience of like what college will be like, to be traveling with my team, playing against just teams from everywhere, and just the audience and everything. It was just giving me a good idea of college, which was good. So I'm committed to Santa Clara University. We had two teams there. We had a girls team, which I was on, and the boys team, and each team had around like 20 people there. The travel day, getting there or days, like was pretty exhausting, but I, at least I was with the team. There was one chant that was my favorite, where it was like, you wish you were going to work out, ooh, ah. But overall, I'm super grateful for the experience I had playing with it against other teams from other countries and being able to play with a team I've never played before. Hey guys, I'm Ethan Griffin. And I'm also Ethan Griffin. We're here to present some scores from the past week. Let's get right into it. Girls Fly Football played three games last week, we going home with a, two losses and a win. Wow, you're a mess. On Tuesday, they <laughs> lost against Rockland 13-8. to eight. Uh, On Thursday, they beat Whitney with a whopping score of 13-0. Nice job. And on Saturday, they lost against Wood Creek 27-18. to 18. Wow. Um, I hope you guys have better luck next week. Uh, also, on Tuesday, uh, girls volleyball played Oak Ridge, with a re which resulted in an unfortunate loss of 3-1. But then, uh, sadly, they played Rockland a few, a few days later and ended up losing again. Uh, but last but not least, last uh, Thursday, girls water polo won against Whitney with another crazy score of 31-3. Wow. That is like how the Dolphins slammed the Broncos this past weekend. We're all wishing you guys a good rest of your week. Uh, short segment this week, sorry about that, but uh, let's take a look at the trailer for the Fall Media Day coming out on Monday. I'm Shay Ryan. And I'm Sabrina Bell. That was an amazing Media Day promo. I'm so excited to see the full video. Me too. Everybody make sure to make it out to our football game this Friday against our rival Deloro. And next Friday we'll be playing at Whitney, so make sure to show up and show out. Girls Water Polo has September games on the 29th and 30th, and their October games are the 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 10th, and 12th. Boys Water Polo has their October games on the 3rd, 4th, 6th, 7th, 10th, and 12th. I know they're going to kill it out there. Good luck, guys. Our amazing girls golf has matches on October 3rd, 5th, 10th, and 12th. Volleyball has games on October 5th, 7th, 10th, and 12th. 
Our girls' tennis team has matches on October 5th, 10th, and 12th. Cross Country also has a meet on October 6th at the Clovis Invitational. Good luck, everyone. Black football is playing on October 3rd, 5th, and 10th. Let's take a look at this awesome video for an inside look at the sport. I think the huge memorable moment was winning our first game against Vista. And then the atmosphere is incredible, and there's nothing I'd rather be doing. trial and error honestly we tried something and if it didn't work then we moved on if it did then we kept in kept going thank you for watching our third scoreboard episode just a reminder to always support our athletes and try to go to as many games as you can looks like that's all we have for you guys today peace, peace out y'all